everybody. Welcome back to A Late Show. My first guest tonight is an Academy Award-winning actor you know from Days Confused, Magic Mike, and Dallas Buyers Club. Please welcome back to A Late Show, Matthew McConaughey. How are we doing, Mr. Colbert? We're doing all right. I gotta tell you, it's always good to see you, Matthew. You're such a you're, you're always a great guest. You know I like you. I like you too. Good. That's good to hear it. I'll tell you one thing though. It's kind of bad to see you at the same time because this is the second time I've spoken to you in quarantine. And that just What's sort of drives on. on. That drives home how long <laughs> we've been in quarantine at this point. Yeah. You know, that's, or maybe it's that, how much stinks. you like me. Maybe it's how much we like each other. I, you know? I'm not saying, I'm not taking anything away from the obvious <laughs> affection <laughs> that we have for each other. I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, come on, man. This is a long it, time. It, this it's has been going time. on. Yeah. But you know what takes the sting out of it, Matthew? What's that? This wild turkey oh, yeah. you sent me. And, and I'm not bringing Run it up it just, just because you're my guest. It's because I want to tell the other guests, be more like you, Matthew McConaughey, because not only <laughs> did you send me this, you sent me a whole damn gift basket yes. to go with it. This is yes. how you do it, uh, Tom Hanks. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> step, step up. All right. Remember, Colbert likes his wild turkey. It yeah. will not go bad. He will use it. I will. All right. Um, uh, listen, um, what is, you got something here I actually do want to talk about, was wild turkeys with, 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 with thanks. thanks initiative. Okay. Yeah. Uh, tell me so, what that is while I pour myself a, ba uh, a, a yes. glass of this. So here's what we got about four years ago. I'm, you know, I've been creative director of Wild Turkey over there for a while. And about four years ago, we said, well, look, let's quit making big advertisements. Let's go out and do something good, shine some light on some people that are doing good or help some people out. So we had a turkey giveaway in Lawrenceburg four years ago. Then we went to first responders after the hurricanes in Houston. We went to first responders and firemen and women in L.A. after the fires last year. And then this year with COVID, we said, look, let's go find four Americans that are doing something and they're really good for their own communities. All right. So we found somebody in Austin, New Orleans, Chicago, and Dallas that are giving COVID tests to their communities. They can't get, a, give them, um, get them. Uh, another, another lady is giving necessities like diapers and backpacks and pants to kids that can't get them at this time. Another guy in New Orleans created 250,000 jobs for musicians and hospitality workers that have been out of work since COVID. So we're shining a light on them. Tell their story. Hopefully that makes other people in America go, hey, I know somebody in my neighborhood doing well. I'm going to shine a light on them, or hey, maybe I'll become one myself. That's, oh, that's the With lovely. Thanks initiative. That's we got. lovely. Yeah, man. Lovely. Yeah. Let me, let me pour mine. This is a Long Branch product as well. It's, uh, I mean, a wild turkey product as well. Mm -hmm. Long Branch. I'm going to join you here, sir. Now, you just celebrated a birthday. Do you have any birthday traditions? Anything, anything that's special uh, you like to do every year? Kinda. No, it's usually with the family. Um, you know, like I said, four years ago, uh, we decided the birthday would be I'd head out and go on that turkey drop in Lawrenceburg. This year, obviously, we weren't doing anything in person. I'm sorry, what's a this turkey drop? Very good what's birthday. a turkey drop? Deliver a thousand turkeys to people's doors. Most of those people being people who may not be able to get a turkey for Thanksgiving. Okay, so I, since my birthday, I just want to make sure you weren't November, actually literally dropping turkeys out of something. Because dropping turkeys off. Because domestic turkeys are <laughs> flightless. <laughs> they they would just hit the ground yeah. like a like a like a like a flightless turkey is like what they would do. Like a flightless turkey. Well, that's like nice. a penguin. That's awfully nice. Now, what yeah. about you? What do you do for yourself? Birthday morning, you wake up. Is it like well, all about Matthew all day long? Well, to some extent. Like they're like this the last birthday, I just turned fifty one. I got up, had an hour with myself, did a little inventory on Don't gloss over that. Gone. What do you mean you had an hour with yourself? What is that? Okay. An hour. <laughs> just with with the M and the E, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so anyway, good. a little reflection time. Uh -huh. How you know how? Oh, how really? Was 50? really? Yeah. In front of the mirror. Yeah, a little. Oh, a hundred percent. Right in front of the mirror. You know. <laughs> no, nah, just just. I was actually outside. Caught a sunrise. Oh, that's All right, nice. I don't catch many of those. Are and you a morning so, man? Uh, no, I'm a sunset dude. <laughs> You're a sunset dude. Okay. <laughs> Are you a morning man? Uh, no. No, I'm, yeah, a, I'm, a, I'm, no. A, I'm a Moonrise man. Oh, Moonrise? Moon oh, 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 oh. Well, if you can parlay that situation, get a sunset and a moonrise happen at the same time. Oh, sure. Split. The, 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 yeah. the, 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 the setting sun and the rising moon moving in perfect opposition and concordance. 
that's that's a beautiful dance. Yeah. So yeah, I um I had an hour with myself at the sunrise on my birthday. I went back in, snuggled up with my wife for a few hours, and we did not come out and greet the day, the rest of the family until it was like lunchtime. That's then nice. we uh, grabbed the kiddos, we made a lunch, went outside, turned up the music. I uh, had an outdoor lunch, which turned into an outdoor dinner. Went back in, checked out Survivor, which is a show we're catching up on um, that we never saw when it came out. And, and on Survivor, that's a CBS product, isn't it? There you go. I'll push the hey, uh, wild turkey. You push the CBS <laughs> prime time. It's a deal. It's a deal. I, I, I hope to check it out someday. I hear really good things. Now, uh, <laughs> you seem like a man who is a font of wisdom. And I need you, if you don't mind, to give some of our viewers some Matthew McConaughey help. Trademark. For, for, for people celebrating Thanksgiving apart from family this year, do you have any advice for them? Oh, Because it's, yeah. the, it's the sound thing to okay. do. Okay. Yes. Let's see what the sound thing to do this, uh, this Thanksgiving Turkey Day. I would say this. It is a good time to think about, oh, let's survive. Let's not thrive. Um, I know you want to get together with your, uh, with, with, with all your family come from all over the country, but this year might be a good year to hold off on that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, if you do that, that'll be, that'll be better than the turkey was ever going to taste. And how sweet will next <laughs> Thanksgiving be? Oh, it's going to be so sweet. There's going to oh. be a great, great, <coughs> great rubbing of parts. <laughs> <It's> gonna, <laughs> next two, two, two years worth. Yeah. Double up next year. Double up next year. You could double the pie. Let's talk gratitude. Let's talk giving, giving. thanks. What's 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 uh, what are you giving thanks for this year, big or small? What's like what's a small thing you're giving thanks small for? Small thing. What are you grateful um, for? There's one right there. What? And I do love a really new sharp pair of these. <laughs> you literally looked Give down me. and you had nail clippers in front of you? Give me a cup of wild turkey long branch with one rock in it, a good headlamp with a fresh battery, and a fresh pair of clippers, and I'll go have a 30-minute session with my fingers and toes that I, is one of my favorite times of my day. I love a good sharp clipper, nail clipper. I did not, I did not expect that to be the pleasure zone for Matthew McConaughey. It, it, it's one of them. Look, I have, sure. I have them in, these in every room in the house. And there are 40, really? 40 pairs. Do, do you just room. clip at random and they just fly around the room at all times? Are there it, drifts I, of toenail clippings in the corners? I've got of... my zones, and, okay. and, I, and, I, and I probably, you know, my zones may trespass on other people in the sure. family zone a little bit where they're like, hey, that's really kind of rude. I'm like, okay, okay, right. heading outside, heading outside. You have added something to your resume this year. It's pretty impressive. It's, the, it's New York Times number one best selling author. Your memoir. Green lights, okay, yes. went to number one. What, Matthew McConaughey, does that mean? What's green lights? Just check this out, green lights, all right? We all love green lights in life. They say yes, please, carry on, more, onward, out of boy, out of girl, yeah. freedom, all right? We don't like the red and yellow lights in life because they make us pause, their hardships, crises, or what have you. But the red and yellows, eventually turn green or reveal green light assets in the in the future via lessons that we learn in the yellow and reds and that then makes them turn green and that's why uh i think life's uh, uh all, all green lights even the reds and yellows the crises and hardships when we're in them and that's and what green lights about i'm glad to hear that you're not trash talking reds and yellows because if all lights were green all the time people would be just slamming into each other you just be driving in circles full full speed and go nowhere you get dizzy yeah you got to have the reds and yellows along the way. You include a lot of um, wisdom and, and, and bumper sticker slogans in here. What, mm. Why do you love bumper sticker slogans so much? You, you know, it's one of the <laughs> bumper stickers are sort of like one of the last bastions of real acceptable free speech. <laughs> you can kind of say what you want because they're a bumper sticker. Nobody takes them that seriously. But you can see a bumper sticker. You know who somebody voted for. You know if they've got a family. You know what their denomination is. You know if they're a gun carrier or not. You, you can find out so much by a bumper sticker. And what's always find fun is to pull up on a car. I'll see a bumper sticker and you immediately get an image of who's who's behind the wheel. And so then to pull up next to that car and see if that image of that person driving fits the image that you had via their bumper sticker. Wow. Or vice versa. You see somebody next to you at a traffic light, you look over and you're like, you get an idea who they are. They pull by, you see their bumper sticker. It may be exactly what you thought they'd have on there. It may be completely different. 
Maybe, how about this? I think you can learn things from people's bumper stickers. Instead of a, an app like Tinder, you have an app that is bumper. And you take a photograph of, of your bumper stickers, and then people judge whether they want to meet you based on that. Ooh. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Talking sunsets and sunrises now, aren't we? <laughs> that would work. <laughs> it is. Is it true? I heard you say that you might consider running for governor in Texas. Mr. McConaughey, will you run for governor of Texas? It's a simple answer, yes or hell yes. <laughs> Which one is it? I have no no plans to do that right now. As I said, that would be up to that a lot of That is such a people. political answer. No, 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 That's the political out. answer. I have no plans at this point. Obviously, I have to discuss with my family and check my spiritual advisor. Well, all that would be true as well, but check this out. Look, right now, no. I don't get politics. Politics seems to be a broken business. Politics that yes. needs to redefine its purpose. And so as I move forward in life, and yes, am I going to consider leadership roles where I can be most useful? Oh, I'd love to. I'm doing that regardless. Um, so that that's where I sit right now. That came out. I, just, I actually just read that headline actually about an hour ago. Me too. Didn't even know that it Literally came out Literally right that way. before I came down here, <laughs> yeah. I saw that headline. So is that you? Have any idea where that came from? Any idea? To yeah, that? no, I did. A, I did. A, I've been asked that question about if I was interested in running for governor quite a bit oh. um, lately. Okay. And I've always kind of given the same answer, but evidently one of them came out as I would consider it since I didn't say absolutely no. Okay. Okay. So I would consider it, Matthew McConaughey. That stands. <laughs> in whatever leadership role I can be most useful in, and I don't know that that's politics right now. I don't see it as politics. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Okay, you made some bold claims in the book, and we've only got seconds here, Matthew, so we, this, is, on, a li this is a lightning round. You say you'd rather be a sailor than an astronaut. Defend yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah. Why? Uh, I'd, rather be, uh, I'd rather join the Army instead of the Air Force. Always have. Uh, Why? Yeah, you don't I, like I, that? I, you don't like up? I got no problem with up. I'm still getting off to what's right in front of me, though, chasing okay. that sunset over the horizon. And every time you take a path, even though it's the same one I've taken before, it's different every single time. Right. Have you, have you done some big sails? Have you done, like, open ocean sailing or anything like that? Not really. Oh. It's nice. No, if I you know, like sunsets, yeah. you say you're a sunset man. There's nothing a like sunset, a sunset out in, out in the middle out there. Because then well, you see, you know, you yeah, see, Matthew, I've, I've if you're lucky. Few. What do you see? What? Green flash. Moonrise. You ever seen the green uh, flash? you damn right I have. <laughs> it's not going to get better than that, guys. Green lights. <laughs> green lights. The man held up the book, but I will too. It's available now. Matthew McConaughey, everybody. We'll be right back with Cedric the Entertainer. Thank you, Matthew.